Mike Eisley. Steven Fell. Reese Campbell, and I'm a modern warrior. It's intense training, um, unlike any I've ever had before. And the instructors uh, do not take it easy on you. I was the inaugural member. I was the first member and signed up, uh, joined last August when they opened the school. Sensei Patrick Sweet and Master Keith the Rockstar Richardson are, I believe, two of the best around. The knowledge that they possess, the hands-on training that they've already had, and the just love of the sport itself just grows on you and it makes you appreciate it and, and passionate for it. I've always had a passion for the martial arts um, and partly because of my aggressive behavior in the past, not, not necessarily fighting or picking fights, just, you know, tough guy by nature and, you know, gravitated towards the sport and, and that's how I look at it now. It is a sport. I'm, I'm not a quote unquote cage fighter, don't really have a desire to to go test my manhood in, in front of anybody. Um, don't need to, but you know, fully support every guy that, that does and, and wants to see our guys do good. Tried a couple of schools up in uh, North Carolina. And uh, they're decent schools, but it's a lot closer to home and I feel like I, I fit in really well here. Started training here uh, October of last year. I came in with about two years of jiu-jitsu. Uh, all back game, had no top game, zero wrestling, and absolutely no striking whatsoever when I came here. <laughs> I just had my first fight this past weekend. Like I said, I came in with no striking, no wrestling, and a little bit of a bottom game in jiu-jitsu. Uh, Keith, I worked with Keith a lot, and uh, got my wrestling up big time. I ended up dominating my fight with wrestling. Stood in there and uh, exchanged some punches, felt pretty good with my striking, and I got the win. I mean, I think that kind of speaks for itself. Both Pat and Keith are, are great coaches to have, and uh, they brought my wrestling game up big time. And that's, that's exactly what helped me win my fight. And confidence, those guys, are, those guys are great for building their confidence, without a doubt. I think an MMA school is all about uh, friends and feeling like you're part of a family. And that's what I get here at Modern Warrior. I'm, I'm here about six days a week, always training with Pat or Keith or somebody. And, uh, I mean, everybody here, like I said, is like a family and they'll, they'll give it to you straight. So, I mean, if I, if I was slacking or if I wasn't progressing in a certain area, they let me know and helped me work on it big time. And, I mean, this will get you W's. I worked out with Keith at Omni. And I know I've always seen them come in there, all the guys. And, you know, they were training really hard. Um, so I, I wanted to get involved in the program myself and uh, get into that. They've, they've been real nice. Uh, they work with me because I've been having a hard time, you know, learning because I used to play football. They walk you through it, show you everything. They know they know a lot. They've, they've done really good so far, welcoming everybody and, you know, teaching us. Um, my favorite part is the striking, which, you know, the grappling, I like to just do as well, but I, I do like the striking. It's probably my favorite part. But I definitely like to get into competing, you know, at least do some kind of grappling tournament, you know, in the future if I get enough, I guess, maybe get a fight. It's definitely worth your time to come out and check it out, um, you know, and they'll work with you. And, you know, if you anything you want to learn, they can teach you because they know a lot. I would definitely, you know, recommend it and talk to, you know, people about coming out. Back to that family atmosphere, without a doubt. You make great friends here. I see these, I see these guys seven days a week, for sure. I mean, if... We're not training, we're hanging out, you know, uh, going out, watching fights, going out to dinner with each other. It's really, it's more of a social club, I guess, with some badasses. Come at it with an open heart and an open mind. Uh, open heart because it's something that you're going to have to love and enjoy to, to be a part of it and associated with it. Uh, the open mind is, you know, the scenario of, of cage fighters or the, the stereotypical cage fighter of just being a badass and, you know, looking to fight, um, you know, you kind of have to check that here at the door. Um, no, nobody that walks through that door for the first time is going to be thrown into the cage. You have to earn that right and, and Keith and, and Sensei Pat both won't allow it until you're ready. And, I, and personally, I I'm, have humbled myself. Um, 
learned so much. My patience, my ability to listen and, and understand the concepts of mixed martial arts and, and every background from judo to wrestling to jiu-jitsu to Muay Thai to kickboxing, boxing. It's, a, it's an acquired knowledge that you will learn if, if you are open to it and, and listen. And I think that's the biggest thing is, is listening to the instruction that is here that they have to offer. And I, I recommend the sport for any, anybody that is willing to try it. Um, if you're already in the sport, then, then you know what I'm talking about. You know? You're going to get punched in the face and hit hard and submit it. And, you know, it's part of it. If you can't grow to love it, then it's not for you.